And now I want to show you something that's really powerful called select and link. Um, if we wanted to rotate all of these pieces, it can become a bit of a pain. Um, we could move to pivot points, I guess, but this way is much better, in my opinion. And what we can do is basically link pieces of geometry to other pieces and rotate around that. So to show you what I mean, I've selected these two arms and I'm going to select select and link from up here and just click and drag to that center hinge. And now when I rotate that center hinge, you'll see that these arms rotate as well. So what we can do is just go up, select this second hinge. Let's select and link that to the arms. And then let's select this arm. Let's actually select all parts of that arm. And again, we'll select and link to that center hinge. So now so let's select this bottom one. We'll rotate that. Let's go to our front view so we can rough it in with our reference. Select this center hinge and rotate that. That's just made really easy work of getting our arms in the correct place.